Hi there, welcome to my Patreon page. The fact that you're watching this video and you've ended up on this page should hopefully mean you're kind of curious about how you could potentially support me and what this is all about. Well, allow me to explain. My name is Adam and I've been making technology related videos for about 10 years now. The first few years of content was admittedly quite low production, but just so much fun. For example, at first I was doing things like PowerPoint presentation style Windows Movie Maker type videos of how to do, you know, Xbox connected to a screen and very basic but fun because I was helping people style videos. Here's an example of some of my early stuff. So up first, we've got the PowerPoint presentation style Windows Movie Maker type video. Very low production, but I just had so much fun making this and the fact that it got a couple of thousand views was just fascinating to me that people actually wanted to watch my videos, even though I had, what, a couple of subscribers, it was just the love of the game, that was all it was. So here's another one, this is just me unboxing a motherboard on the floor. I had no microphone back then, I wasn't really caring about video editing, I was just doing a one take, shoot the video, upload it, just because. Over time the videos have got better production value, I do voiceovers, I do multiple camera angles, different camera styles, a lot more research into my videos, such as scripting, voiceovers, planning. Again, this is a gradual process. For the first couple of years, I definitely wasn't doing this. As time went on, I started to make different types of videos, not just reviewing this and unboxing that. I did tutorials, so I did a Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create GIFs using Sony Vegas and the free image manipulation software known as GIMP. I was also still involved with reviews. I made reviews of gaming systems. This is the review of the OnLive gaming service and the OnLive gaming system. On here you can just click on the game like so. And you can see the trailers, the arena, the brag clips, the extras, the add-ons and the achievements. Computer monitors, the latest and greatest. <laughs> different styles and different types of headphones. And this is the review of the Jabra Elite 45E wireless Bluetooth headphones with the review of the Jabra Elite 65T wireless headphones. Panasonic Wings Sport headphones, more specifically the model RP-BTS30. Some network devices here and there like NAS drives, external hard drives, etc. Okay, so power cable into the NAS drive, into your mains. Ethernet cable from the NAS drive into the router. This gives it an IP address. We can then use that IP address to go to the web browser and get to the web interface to allow us to assign users, change groups, do permissions, updates, all that sort of stuff. So to put a long story short, plug the security camera into power, download the EasyViz app, scan the QR code or any other means of connecting the device, and then your camera will go through a short wizard and connect. This is extremely simple and works very well. All the way to the other end of the spectrum, talking about the deep web and the dark net. Before we start the voyage into the unknown depths of the internet, we're going to need a platform to be able to connect to the Onion routing network. And this is very, very simple to get. Website 3. Hidden Answers. Hidden Answers is basically a place where you can verify whether or not a website is legit. If you are sceptical about the legitimacy of a certain product or service for sale over the deep web or dark net, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I've made a Patreon page. The reason I've made a Patreon is because the style of video that I make, my upload schedule, and the type of video, such as tutorial, unboxing, review, etc, etc, means that the earnings are not consistent. Some months, it's okay. Other months, it doesn't really exist. And I'd like to bring some form of consistency to my uploads, my content, and my revenue. Now, I'm not saying that I need people to donate thousands of dollars to get me X, Y, and Z editor. That's no, that's not what I'm looking for. All I'm looking for is to just have some form of support from an audience, which means collectively I'll be supported and won't have to worry so much about, oh, okay, views are down because the few reviews that I've made aren't very popular. So I have to do a few more tutorials to get the views back up. That's an unnatural and unorganic way of making videos. That's just my opinion. 
You could think, hey, you're just talking complete rubbish, but that's how I stand, and that's my honest opinion, and the reason why I've made a Patreon. So hopefully that's enough sort of information and general background as to who I am and why I'm setting up a Patreon in the first place. Over time, as hopefully more and more people support me, I will be introducing goals and rewards. But for now, thanks for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions, and I hope to have you on board very soon.